winged messenger, Mercury. He rides the wind above us all. Some say his gifts are from God. Others say he's just a man. A man who has soared above and beyond all who have come to play this game. Legend springs up in the simplest places. Wayne Gretzky learned to skate on his grandparents' farm, hard by the Nith River, just outside the small Canadian town of Brantford, Ontario. The farm and his family were his foundation. His passion, even at two and a half, was hockey. Well, the first time Wayne skated was on the river at, at my mother's. He had the right idea because he had been skating, but without skates, in the living room uh, at my mom's out the farm. It was a pine wood floor and he would just uh, just slide across the floor back and forth and he had a little hockey stick with a ball and, and uh, she was basically to say uh, his first goal tenor and he banged her shins a few times with that stick. Wayne Gretzky may have been the first four-year-old to have his own backyard rink. Many people think I made it to make him a hockey player. <laughs> but I'll tell you honestly, it was self-survival <laughs> because they take him over to the park and he wouldn't want to come home and I'd be freezing to death. I would skate for seven or eight hours uh, a day. People would say, boy, you know, how could you practice that much? And uh, I think looking back at it, if I would have considered it practice, I probably wouldn't have done it. I considered it fun and that was my enjoyment in life. I would usually skate from about you know, 7 to 8.30 and come in, go to school, come home at lunch, and then I'd be on the ice from 3.30 till, uh, till my mom would make me come in for dinner, and then I'd have dinner and rest for a few minutes and go back out. And, you know, it was almost, it was religious for me. I never missed. It was like, that was my enjoyment in life. He excelled in baseball, lacrosse, and track and field, but he was consumed by hockey. He watched the NHL on Hockey Night in Canada religiously every Saturday night out at the farm. I've seen him when he was a, a little kid have his hockey equipment on in the middle of the summer. It'd be 95 out. And he'd be roasting, but he'd be running around there with a ball and a hockey stick. At five, he could stick handle better than most 12-year-olds. At eight, he was scoring almost at will. At nine, he became a national curiosity. Not yet ten, Gretzky had scored his 1,000th goal. We were in last place in our division, and I wondered why the Brockville Arena was filled to capacity. We had just finished, finished playing or getting close to the end of the game, and halfway through our game, the arena filled up. And I was wondering what all this magic was about. And all of a sudden, the Brantford Hockey Club came on the ice, and it was Wayne Gretzky, a person with white gloves on. I had never seen the boy play. And that particular day, he played left wing, he played right wing, he played center, 
left defense, right defense. He played every position but goal. And if my memory serves me correctly, he got four or five goals that day. He so loved the game that he often played in two leagues. On one occasion, he helped win an out-of-town game, then was rushed to help save another just hours later. We were losing 5-1, five, 6-1, five, one, one, I guess it was. And uh, all of a sudden, I got a tap on the shoulders that Wayne was on his way. Well, that went through the arena like, you know, wildfire. Wayne's on his way, Wayne's on his way is all you could hear. So, of course, I said, you know, my other players, I said, you know, just all you have to do is hold them. I said, you know, Wayne's coming, you know, Wayne's coming type thing. So uh, that was that part of it. Wayne got there. Um, when the game ended up, uh, it was 6-5 for Brantford. We had won, won the game. It was a time like never before in Canadian hockey. A 10-year-old boy was selling out 16,000-seat arenas. He was a bubblegum wizard scoring a staggering 378 goals in one season. Hey, he wouldn't go around saying, well, I'm the best, I'm going to be the best. But he always just wanted to be the best. He always loved to win, of course, everyone in, the, in our family, the kids, they can't even play cards without fighting because they all want to win. 